best flow, most consistent, realest stories, most charisma, I set the most trends, and my interviews are hotter. Focus. So what we want to do is, you know, kind of take a hand as we do every weekend on the blueprint and mm-hmm. guide you through the timeline of multimedia and social media platforms in terms of how did this gap, you know, how did how did how did these agents or these assets right. distance the gap between current generation mm-hmm. artists right. and legacy artists that we were just talking about, right? And how our viewers out there, these up and coming artists, even these bloggers, right, uh, the people who are you know um, managing these artists or whatnot, moving this content around, how they can use these platforms and this strategy to their advantage to continue to grow their movements. And let's right. also make sure you guys know you we're checking in. It's your girl Dom here, brand strategist. This is what we do. We got your man Chuck here, senior. Digital producer at BET and our top of the line, best of the best A and R in the game, Pop Tart Poppy, Mr. Norvay Denton. Thank so, y'all for checking in. Yeah, definitely. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. But yeah, like I mean, if you look at where music has gone over the last ten years, like artists have really had to manage each platform and use it to their advantage, and right. hence it's created that gap between legacy artists. And some of our newer artists. We started off with Napster and LimeWire, where you had to physically go search for a song. I remember them days. Pray it was on the internet. And remember we made mid CDs. Y'all remember Trapping that? out the bandwidth. Yeah. yeah. I never did Fucking such up a your thing. Computer to download. I always. <laughs> hey man. I always, <laughs> computer viruses and all that. Oh it was God. no. It was no joke. I was the mix CD girl. The pirate and music. And people went to jail. Y'all remember drama them went to jail behind that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Drama. You know drama took like, the rap for everybody. He took the fall for him. Yeah. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to drama too and Lake yeah. Show too. <laughs> what came after that, Dom? Um, after that, we had iTunes. Yeah. So how did iTunes work after that? Because I'm assuming that you could download singles and before you could download albums, or how no, did that I, work? So I forgot. What iTunes? When iTunes first came out, came about, it was literally the digital consumption of albums, right? Mm-hmm. Also, uh-huh. albums. So you went from buying CDs to you having this little right. electronic oh, device. Oh yeah, you had the iPod. You're right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The iPod came about and it was like this electro- a little electronic device. It's like. 2002 and you mm-hmm. walking around with these devices or whatnot and now you literally moving around with your CDs. CDs amazing. slowly started moving to extinction. Oh, because iTunes, you had to download your CDs and put them into iTunes. This is before Yeah, you for could... your old catalog. Okay, yeah, so for your old let's catalog. Let's be clear because I was like, dang, I feel like it more happened before we started down, excuse me, downloading CDs. Well, that was simultaneous. Well, no, because, well, yeah, it was singles, but remember, you had to buy a CD, right. you had to scan it into your computer and put it into iTunes, and everybody well, didn't have I'm a, it. Remember, I'm a, that? So remember that? So, I'm going to double down. I remember that. Remember that? So, when iTunes first, when the store was first created, they had an iTunes store where you could buy your music from iTunes, but you had to have a fucking iTunes card. You had to have an <laughs> iTunes <laughs> card. Even, do they even sell iTunes cards they still? still? Sell iTunes cards. Uh, Yo. <laughs> Yeah. Go to Target and, and see if you can find an iTunes okay, card. I remember from <laughs> iTunes, we went to YouTube, and that's where Soldier Boy like pioneered oh, yeah, yeah, and changed yeah, yeah. the fucking music game because he started yes, he this did. whole dance craze. Because yeah. now you could see and watch your content, you know what I mean, and you could upload it yourself. Yeah, you could so upload it yourself. Yeah, because yeah. he really is a pioneer. I don't think right. he gets enough credit because he does too many. That changed the music video game too. <laughs> yeah, that's when music video that's started when, changing. Because remember, you had to watch it on the box. If right. you take it all the way back, you have to start watching videos on the box. The box was huge. Um, and then we had ringtones. <laughs> <laughs> remember, people would yep. purchase ringtones, and you could change your little. Remember, people had sidekicks too, and you could change the sound of your phone. Yes, yeah, so artists was had. making money off that. That the, all the snap music that we heard mm-hmm. coming out of Atlanta. In you know Atlanta, a lot of Atlanta hey. artists ate T- off a of ringtone. T Pain got rich off a of ringtone. Yeah, there's a few Be people clear. got rich. <laughs> Young Jack got rich <laughs> off a of ringtone. <laughs> Young Jack definitely got the rich franchise. Off of them ringtone. franchise boys got I rich off a ringtone. As a matter. In fact, that whole era, Bad Boy got rich off of ringtones. It was Ring going tone. down. And your ringtone. Bow Wow and Sierra. Bow Wow and Sierra. People, yeah. people was making Sierra. songs just for ringtones. They was making songs just for ringtones. We used to have ringtone competitions. Like, oh, what ringtone was that? Yeah. You were. Wait a minute. Dom used to have ringtones. Remember we used to call people on the phone, and they would have that's music playing on their voicemail. Yeah. That was yeah. like ringtone era. That, wait, no, that's a, that's a ring back, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Wait, that, that, that's a little different. I forgot about ringbacks too. Isn't that because that's when you call instead of the phone ringing, ringing you, it, you would, it would be a song. But the voicemail yeah. came before the ringback because that's before we had cell phones. When you, on your house right. phone, you used to be like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm recording." I'm recording. And then and after this, that. we went to singles. <laughs> oh yeah, then we went to singles. Okay. And then from there, we went to um, what we call passive terrestrial radio. So what is and, passive uh, terrestrial radio? Passive terrestrial radio was when you could go on a, a website. And they would just play records from your favorite artists, but you couldn't select the records, i.e. Pandora. 
So oh, you just you go couldn't, to the next song. Right. You, uh, you had no control over it. And then eventually this, you know, kind of evolved into where they would allow you to pay a small membership and then oh, you okay. could you could pick the music, right? You could you could uh pick 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 the art artist or whatnot stand a certain genre, but then also you could skip the advertisement so those fucking commercials would stop popping. They up. was making money off of that. They still yeah. making money off of and that. And then that evolved. Yep, and then that evolved to streaming, which is pay to play. So now right, you can right, pick right. exactly which content you want to hear. Yep. And even before streaming I feel like you. that's when you paid and you picked your song, you downloaded your album. So you actually downloaded the music. Now with streaming, you can just pay a monthly fee and get yeah. all service, the music. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, that's really what's happening with artists. Like, look at The weekend. He made Forbes Hot 100 list because he was streamed the most. Him and Drake collectively have, I think, 17.5 billion streams. Yeah, that's and, and shout out. That's crazy. Scary. Shout out to SoundCloud. The Chance know. the Rapper has never sold a physical album. Yeah. Shout out to SoundCloud too, although they didn't monetize early on and they're trying to incorporate it now. Yeah. Uh, to you know save some type of leg uh, leg room in the market share. Um, shout out to them because they were a huge and the biggest, not just huge, the biggest destination spot for new undiscovered talent, yeah, yeah, production, yeah, 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 beats, yeah. music, or whatnot. So you know, shout out to platforms like that because your SoundCloud numbers. I just seen. I've been a part of people getting whole oh, ass record deals because of off of SoundCloud. I, I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see the long term, it's the term SoundCloud, the long term well, financial effects of streaming music. They're not doing music, well. You know they're what not, I'm saying? SoundCloud is not doing well. Yeah, but they're not going anywhere. They're I don't not think doing they're well. Leaving, yeah. but just be mindful because they didn't. Mon- right. They didn't monetize. But but yeah. not even just SoundCloud. Just streaming, like the long term financial. What's the difference of an artist that sold a lot of records in a full lifetime and an artist that has streamed? I want to see the overall long term you know effects of selling streams. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All of the artists that are streaming now chance throughout his lifetime did he make more money from streaming than let's say a, a great artist back in the day from actually selling i'm, I'm, I I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked that i'm gonna answer that question as soon as we come back but chuck give me one record <laughs> well, one thing before we go out i do uh-huh. want to say we're at itunes and this is just an observation of mine um look at now itunes or apple music now they have the documentaries with like diddy premiering his documentary no the doubt. weekend was able to get this deal because of a live performance on apple music and it went global so i do i think we see the future of streaming becoming more of a visual platform whereas right now it's not so much a visual platform yeah, and titles just, double down to that if you go yeah, to the title with a lot content. of exclusive content or whatnot, like Don was just saying, Apple having exclusive with you know Dr. Dre's recent Diddy had a, Diddy yeah, the weekend got this yeah. big fucking deal because of a live performance. And, and, and now, and like instead of going to the blogs right. or whatnot, you know they're shuffling, to your phone. they're shuffling like behind the scenes and BTS yeah. footage or whatnot directly to your title platform or whatnot. That's By the way, happen. if you ain't got title. What the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't ain't paying us. So get you a streaming service until somebody. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're a music, not if you, us, if they you're paying Kanye, then I'm. If you're a music aficionado like myself, right? Okay. Apple is He's cool. He's the music guy. Okay. I just want to be very. Apple is cool. Speak to it. Spotify is great if you're in college or under twenty one. Okay. But if you're really serious about your the quality of your music experience, okay. You got no, you got no other option but to go to title. The sound quality in title versus Apple Music. Substantially, outrageously, egregiously yeah. better. Like it's it's night and day. Yeah. It's like a seven to a twelve. They got the they got the text over there. Like the yeah. tech specs is but on another. It's level. made. It's yeah. a music company funded by music yeah. people, yeah. artists itself. So it's like just in terms of sound another quality. Platform too. Yeah. Don't. I mean, don't let the exclusives and shit uh, bully you guys, right? Because it's eventually gonna come to all platforms. Yeah, you might have to wait a, yeah. a week longer for a Drake album or you might have to wait a week longer for a Jay-Z album, but you'll get the shit. It's not that big of a deal. Go where you feel like you're gonna get the best quality and more importantly, the biggest bang for your buck. I ain't banging on Spotify either because Spotify is the reason why college Apple kids can still consume right music. Now, he would dope, dope, you know what I'm saying? If Apple, if Apple sent me a check right now, I'd be like, I only eat apples, only like apple pie. <laughs> Tuning in right back here on the Blueprint or whatnot. So, you know, we just went through the legacy in terms of transitions that the industries went through yes, sir. different platforms or whatnot working our way down and you know the, the whole goal is we want to be able to paint the picture for these up and coming artists or whatnot how the fuck can they use these you know different streaming platforms and revenues and these outlets or whatnot to magnify their music so you know amongst the wide range of music available on the internet how can emerging artists stand out amongst digital media partners like chuck you represent bet um what are like the standouts you know and before you answer that question not to interject but i just want to let you guys know it just from a media branding perspective or just a pr perspective the way we put out music has changed completely like we don't print is not really existing anymore tv and all of that so these multimedia digital platforms are a big deal so everything that he's about to drop right now is a super big deal because basically 
this is it. Yeah, we don't have we magazines. Don't, don't do I mean, magazines. everything is yeah. everything is moving to the palm of your hands. It went from the television to the computer, from the computer to your yeah. phone. Right, we right. don't have magazines. Newspapers are down at an all time low. If you look at television ratings, televisions are going. Uh, I mean, traditional network TV is in a small box now because we went from that to subscription. So now Hulu and Netflix are you know predicating what you watch, and now you're watching that shit from your big ass cell phone because phones are not a size and just of people paninis. aren't tuning into news shows anymore. We it's lost. Did we lose inside of? We lost one of our like big, even just general market news. Shows. I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't watched regular television exactly. and like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, BET is changing it's their program. Script now. is coming yeah, back, yeah, so we say all, say all of that to say like it's all digital now. Digital media is like the biggest form of press that you could get right now. So yeah. go ahead. What, how can artists stand out? Yeah. Um, what a, what yeah. a, <laughs> you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll clean it up. What are social media outlets? What are these media outlets looking for from the up and coming artists? Um, let me preface it by saying that, you know, I, I think the digital media space in general is the wild, wild west. It's still very much the wild, wild west. Mm -hmm. Like people that think they got it figured out. Nobody have it figured out yet. Everybody have their own beliefs, their own strategies. So, you know, I mean, I can only share what I see and what I believe. But um, I think that right now for artists that are like really trying to spread through social media networks, you know, the main thing that you want to do is basically be able to show that you have an audience and that you can command your audience to actually do things Engage. you know what i mean like that's that's the that's the two things like okay yeah you can have a following but can you when you say hey click on this button do they click, click. you yeah. know what i mean when you say download this do they download when you say listen to that do they listen to that and i think so really a lot of these artists you know they kind of got to be leaders you know what i mean they got to be so social media stars in in themselves as well as artists. And I think that we're, that's what we're starting to see. We're starting to see a lot of musicians who really ain't just, you know, artists and musicians, but they're just, they're popular guys in their, in where they come from. They got followings, you know what I mean? And, and I think that like, when I look at a guy like 21 Savage, I see a guy that had a lot of pull where he came from, you know what I mean? He was able to kind of translate his, his, his market into a bigger market, his whole vision. And then, you know, you see it grow from there. So I say with these artists today, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you got to have adult music, but you also got to have that full kind of 360 digital vision and digital strategy of yourself, which I think is dope. But I think they do it better than a lot of the major companies because they've been born into the digital world. Mm -hmm. So don't listen to me. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you know you was born into digital and you know how to work your platforms, you know, work it. And if you don't know how to work digital right now and you're an up-and-coming artist, uh, holla at me. So my question is, is like, as um, from the journalist perspective or as the publicist, when we pitch people, what exactly are you guys look, looking for? We know that you're looking for engagement. We know that, that you're looking for followers, but what's going to stand out to you as far as if we have those things? Again, yeah, like New again. Artists, how are you going to say, I'm going to pick you and I'm going to put you up? Again, like I said, I can only speak for what, I, what I've seen and what I believe. I believe you got to pitch people who got a following and can will their following. <laughs> you know, when you coming into a bigger company and you pitching a, a younger artist, they got less know-how about the digital space than you and your artist got. So they really don't know what who's about to do what. All they're going to know is what they see. You know what I mean? So you got you got to have that foundation and build that up off 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 rip. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't even work with artists right now if they didn't like if they weren't able to will their own social media following. Like if you, if you're not able to work social media yourself, I I'd be very hard pressed to work right. with you. Right. So It'd we walk into hard. Viacom right now and say, "Yo, Vey and I got this new hot artist named Chimmy Chimmy Chunga. He got a million Wait, Why does that have to be his name? Cuz you like food. Okay. <laughs> he has a million subscribers on YouTube. He has 500,000 on Instagram. He gets, you know, 20% engagement. But then another team walks in with Kiki Mariah. And she has the same thing. How are you going to choose Chimmy Chimmy Chunga or Kiki Mariah? And they ain't going to choose. They're going to put they're going to put both of them up so there. They're going to put both of them up there. And they're going to okay. see which one get more clicks to do more numbers. That's I mean, that's the end of the day on, on digital media. What's great about it is the analytics. Numbers. The analytics tell the truth so easily. You can tell right now if I if I put an article about Chimmy Chunga and Davey yes, Dave Chimichanga. or whatever, <laughs> I can tell right now we're going to tell in about 10 minutes who, who, who people like. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? That's why you got to lay that foundation yourself. You know what I mean? That's that's what it is. And I'm I'm. I just want to step on the ledge and, you know, uh, thank you for tuning in to the blueprint and whatnot. We yeah, always, no we love to try to educate you guys, but I, I want you guys to really hold and gravitate toward what, toward what Chuck is saying today. Here's the biggest thing, right? Whether you're talking about multimedia platforms, outlets, uh, people looking for talent uh, to acquire it, right? Or record labels. 
I think the biggest misconception is that we're looking to groom new talent. Really? This is not 1994, motherfucker. No, it ain't. It's new. This ain't 95. I'm not looking for Spice One. I don't give a fuck about uh, Method Man or Red Man. It's a new world. I'm not looking for Wu-Tang. Nope. I don't want to believe in you motherfuckers. I want to see if you got the motherfucking proof in the pudding to put it there right there. Yep. So what I'm saying is, before I find you, you should already be found. You should already be found. Before I reach out to you, you should already be found. No disrespect to everybody out there on the hustle and grind, but if you reach out to me and you're like, man, bro, my shit is popping and buzzing. It's all over the place. I'm grooving. I got this new movement coming. My music is the shit. The The first thing I'm going to say to you is like, okay, cool. What's your social media presence? And it doesn't have to be high, right? You can have fucking 15,000 followers on Instagram, but if your engagement is through the roof, I'm attracted to it because I, I see it's, 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 it's living, it's, it's breathing. The grind, man. And, it's and the people grind. are actually, people are actually, you know, immersed in it or whatnot. So, yeah, nah. No, I was going to say, but what happened, what goes away with the mystique of maybe an unsigned artist like an Andrew Day, who mm-hmm. didn't really have a big following when she first hit the scene, but she's a phenomenal artist. But, and, and I'm if glad somebody you said like that. me, as a publicist, I take her to Chuck and I say, Chuck, I have this artist. She's phenomenal. She's working with Stevie One. Like all this, inc- all these incredible things about her. She and she's came. not engaged on social. Are you not going to fuck with it? Well, I think I might like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you're like, not going to give her I any like coverage? this music. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, okay, look, digital, we, we got content management systems. We got a lot of content you could put up. Right. You could put it up, but if people ain't rocking with it, you know what I'm saying? So like, if you break this artist, that never happens. You, you know what I'm saying? People think just because they on the platform, that's going to blow on. Okay, you could and be, then, it's a thousand artists on these platforms and, right now. People ain't And then also, that, too, to, about it. to attest to what you were saying, Dom, when you look at somebody like Andrea, she came from the back root of the plug, right? So she came out the back door where she was writing records for people mm-hmm. and had big, beautiful ballads and songs like that. But she didn't have a large social following. But she didn't need to because she already had the co sign. Like, Everybody that we're talking about right now that need these social platforms, that need this, this sense of individuality, that need to be to already be established in terms of their movement, they're walking to the front door and ringing the doorbell. So what we're saying is by the time you ring my doorbell, I better see a legion, a legacy of motherfuckers behind you. I better see you touring. Right. I better see you active on social media. I better see you engaged. Agreed. So my potential partners that I'm talking and saying, yeah, hey, exactly. this kid is the next motherfucker to deal with, they be like, oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. And they got all the intangibles already. And I'm also thinking about two different types of artists. You you know what I'm saying? We're talking about like a quality vocalist and yeah. a and a and a bubblegum rapper or a mumble rapper. Yeah. That's two different things. Two genres. Yeah, two yeah different genres, it's two different yeah. genres. So right, I'm more I so thinking about I'm more so thinking about that that the bubblegum rap. But that's what I that's what I'm thinking about out. right now. Yeah. At first, you know what I'm saying? So when you kind of switch it on I me, mean, that that's two different things. But I, going back to the original thing, like I said, I started in the party business, man. I started throwing my own events and my own parties. And it, you know, you could you could do the, oh, come out to my party, come out to my party, come out to my party, or you could throw the most banging party in the city and let every and let everybody hit you up asking yeah. to come to, to the party. party. <laughs> so like, when people, oh man, like, listen to this, or buy a ticket to come to my yeah. event. No. Yeah. I don't want to buy a ticket to come to your <laughs> yeah. event. If you want me, if you want me to come to the event, then you either give me a free time, ticket or make it so dope that I want to buy my own ticket time, and you ain't gotta ask. By the time you come to me, if it for it should and, already be and please, guys, really tune into this. By the time you reach out to a, a multimedia partner and say, "Hey, believe in me," you should already have enough shit backed up on you, enough yeah. views, enough uh, impressions, enough commentary, enough social chat, enough buzz, uh, for lack of better work. words, to where. You don't even have to say shit. You rang my doorbell and I was ready to open it for you. And I have a, I have a thing. My thing is that I feel like everybody's like, how do I build my following so that I can get these opportunities? How do I do that? I think the reason why we'll use Cardi B as an example, and we've been mm, talking about her brand. Cardi B. Cardi, Bodak Yellow. <laughs> um, the reason why it worked for her is because her shit was compelling. She's not yeah. the best rapper in the game. Yeah. She's not the the prettiest chick. She ain't the cute. worst either. She's not the worst. I'm not, I'm not, I just want to, you know, <laughs> no, give her not, credit, I know, but I, I want to let other artists know, like, she's not the best of the best at everything. But guess what? We are connected to her because yeah. she's compelling. And she her told story, her truth. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, her yeah, storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. So her brand messaging has been consistent. So by the time she knocks on these people's doors, she doesn't have to articulate anything. And also she can the, just walk up and you're going to get it. And she's a star too. Yeah. And, to, and, and to just co-sign what Nam just said, I think the biggest thing is Cardi B, at a very early stage, once he transitioned from dancing to reality TV show, from reality TV show, to music at every step of the way she identified with who her core Poor fan base she was, was and she spoke to them she was very like aware. yo bros check this out 
I was a stripper. I got my ass done. I got my boobs done. I was insecure. That's why I got it done. But now, shit, you my can't tell me nothing. My mouth is fucked up and I got it fixed. Yeah, I don't give a right, fuck. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Mm-hmm. She let you know my boyfriend was in jail. I'll, I'll be fucking with girls on the side like that. Mm-hmm. Like, so at no point could anybody go up to Cardi B and be like, well, you were such and such. She's like, yeah, I know. I told you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Let, let's also not ignore the fact that Cardi B is a star. Like yeah, I mean, like yeah, straight, like like like, like straight up, like yeah. there's something about Cardi B alone that is very much like you know you can just let her yeah. be like Cardi talk right now and she yeah. she got it you know what yeah. I'm saying so you know shout that, out motherfucking real. Belcalise that's her government name shout out <laughs> Belcalise oh, what's what her name Belcalise okay is her sister's real name Hennessy uh yes. Wow. Bell Do you know Hennessey. her whole family? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so let me tell you something about Bay. No. Bay is the motherfucking music guy. I know. I'm like, he, did he she have her step, other siblings there? It's like, no, I'm interested. Listen. Every, but does she have other siblings? That's yeah, what I want to know. She has a sister named Hennessy, but he going to tell you her mama name, her cousin okay, name, her, okay, her okay. daddy okay. name. <laughs> Nigga, she thought was her daddy name. Okay, like, okay, um, okay. Um, listen, <laughs> to wrap things up or whatnot, to put in a nice bow, uh, Essentially, this is what we, we challenge you guys to do, right? While you out there moving and grooving, right? You identify with who your core fan base is. Agreed. You've Once Enjoy. you've identified with your core base, how do you engage with them? Take the time. Get a team around you. Build assets around you. Yeah. Figure out how to engage. And it's, it should be pretty you know, easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if I'm doing a cooking show, I'm going to identify with motherfuckers that love food. You and, know what I'm saying? And not to cut you off, there are apps to help you do this where you don't, people are buying followers and all that. You don't have to do that. Like, if you're smart, there are social media teams that are very cost effective that will engage your core audience and resourceful you. absolutely it's just work do the yeah. work the yeah. more the more you do the work you're gonna see what's working and not working yeah. when you see what's working trial keep, and keep error. doing that trial and error <laughs> content too. put out good content yeah, like work. people just think you gotta put out a lot of content but if you put out a lot of bullshit it's gonna fall on deaf's ears put out good content sorry go ahead no and then at the end of the day after you've tapped into your following or whatnot and you've expanded it and you found out how to exploit it, not in a negative manner, but basically you want your following to be able to speak on your behalf. Absolutely. In terms of dollar sales, motherfucker, right. in terms of concerts, right. in terms of merch purchases. Right. So when you step up to a partner, whether it be a multimedia partner, a record label, or a distribution from someone like Carolina Records or Empire or whatnot, you now have something to present to them. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Shout out Rob Marmon. <laughs> you now know exactly how to approach it and best of all, Cause I ain't here to advocate for fucking record labels like that. Best of all, you know your fucking worth. And once you know your worth, I can't dupe you, finesse you, trick you, swindle you, or have you hogwashed and buffooned it into some shit where you want to lose and sad. And you so. all don't always need a record deal. We have so many examples in yeah. 2017 of success stories without a record deal. Oh, yeah, I think everybody's all. like mm-hmm. running the rat race to get the record deal, get the record deal. But if you are resourceful, if you are true to who you are, if you understand your audience, you probably could get by without a record deal. But when you do, get ready for that record deal. <laughs> and your shit is popping. <laughs> Holler at me. There it is. You did. So, yo, next Just week, like uh, on the blueprint, like I said, we always going to be in the comments or whatnot. Somebody asked some questions, too. Every week, I, I, I drop a question. So, I, you know, just before we get out of here, I want to pose one more question for you guys. Listen, give me a take on it. Why you online or whatnot? Let us know what you think about it. If you, you know, in tune with it or whatnot, leave the comments. I'm definitely getting it in. And, you know, next week is... Uh, the question for next week is Amongst the wide range of music available on the internet How can emerging artists stand out To digital media partners Like, So take everything that we said today And like, kind of apply it like, How the fuck can you take what we said today And be like yo this is this is literally a tool That I already got my kit This is how I can use my sauce, my swag To like you know finesse the situation And use shit for you know uh, my media partners What I think people will be checking for And then just hop in the comments or whatnot. We always in there checking It's the blueprint It's the blueprint